<gasps> oh my god, guys! Chica is at the bottom of the Five Nights at Freddy's restaurant. Beat the pizzeria. She's here. Oh my god, Chica, what have you done yourself? You're down here? Oh my god, you've seen everything. You've seen it all. Five Nights at Freddy's. Hey, yeah, blah, 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 we are back in The Sims 4. And why is Bonnie, Purple Bonnie, wearing her undergarments? Oh my god, check out that buttocks. <laughs> it's going up the stairs. But we are back. And we are back with all the animatronics. And, uh, well, Jiggly Jukebox. This guy's going on the computer. And holy crap, it's nighttime. Everyone's going to bed, I see. Let's see. Why are we going outside? Oh my god, it's another miracle! Expose yourself! <laughs> Expose yourself to the entire world. Yes, people are taking pictures. Let me get in here. Let me see the view. How do I do the camera thing where it's like... Oh, there we go. Yes. Yes, we are taking... Looking at you. Oh, we can barely... Yeah. This is... this. I'm peeping Tom right now. I'm hiding behind this tree. <laughs> and I'm like... Bonnie. Bonnie. I'm taking pictures of you. What are you doing in there? I can see you totally. I'm Mr. Peeping Tom. My name's Tom Swagger. So in the last episode, we had Purple Guy. We were in the eyes of Purple Guy. And it was pretty, pretty crazy how he lives his life. It's pretty... Oh my god. They're both in the washroom now. The balcony washroom. It has never been done before. This is the new era, guys. This is how people take a washroom break in the future. But... Uh, in the last episode, we looked at how Purple Guy was in his, in his realm. And uh, b b in this episode, we're going to probably take Foxy and Bonnie out to the playground and play some little hopscotch on the playground with the little kids. No, just kidding. He, they're just going to like talk to other people, meet some new friends and stuff. But you've got to go to work, young man. Oh, God. <gasps> You're missing work right now. What are you doing? Don't you, don't you, aren't you supposed to automatically go? No, 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 no. I thought they go automatically. Shall we go to the park, everyone? Let's go. Ah, yes, the lovely park. And yours just thinking about tampons and bed, bed sheets. Look, you're so tired, aren't you, Foxy? Stand up like a man, like you mean it. You gotta stand up for yourself. What the hell? There's like no one here. We're supposed to be socializing here. Who the hell are we? Oh, yes, we have someone over here. Who else is here? Who the hell is this? Is there a man? Are you a man or a woman? Are you a man or a woman? You have uni brows. <laughs> you have... Who are you? Let's see this. Who are you? Look at that. <laughs> this is awesome. Look at his uni bra. You can do that? I'm going for a special walk on this beautiful park. <laughs> I can see two beautiful young ladies. Uh, this one looks kind of angry. She looks happy. Maybe I'll talk to her. But I don't have the guts. Oh yes, I do. I have the guts. I know I can do it. I know I can do it. I have the confidence in me to go right through the... Is, is he going to walk right through them? Is he going to do that? Let's see what happens. Oh, go damn it. Where? Oh, he, he did it. He walked right past them. Is he a man or a woman? <laughs> okay. Where's, what's Foxy doing? Oh, he's having his little hot dog. Who is this guy? He's just, who is this traveler? Are you a farmer? You look like a farmer. Who is this? What? Wait, what are you doing? Sticking your ass up in the air. What the hell is that? What kind of, what kind of, is, what is this? You're showing your ass to this woman over here? What are you doing? What, why are, why are you doing this? Why are you show, why are you showing off your ass to this woman? What kind of music do you like? Music? Music is for garbage people. Every type of music these days is garbage. I just play video games with my Xbox controller and write in the sky the letter N. Oh, do you like books? Do you like books, Foxy? It's not all about garbage cans with you, is it? No, I just care about myself and my beautiful, beautiful hair. 
I don't just think about garbage, sometimes I put myself in the garbage. Oh, when you put yourself in the garbage, don't you get hot by the sun? What about your hair? Oh, you do it for your hair, I see. Yes, I get inside the garbage uh, garbage uh, bags, and then it gets super hot, and then the hot the sun, it, it melts my hair and makes my hair look silky smooth. Really? That's awesome. This old man, what is he humping? He's humping the garbage. Did you see that? He was humping the garbage. I saw that. I saw that, farmer. Toy Bonnie was like, screw the park, I'm gonna go to the nightclub. Even though it's daytime outside. But, it appears to be that there's two bachelors here ready for Bonnie, Toy Bonnie. Get away from this conversation, you're not part of this. We're having, we're trying to have sex over here. Bonnie is extremely happy. She's walking up the stairs and entering the house. She met a young, handsome boy. She showed off her boobies to him, and he was like, she's awesome, and now she's gonna sit on this red couch. It's Molly and friends on TV, but let's call up that guy we just met, chat with, uh, let's try to invite or hang out with someone. Travis Scott, will you please hang out with me? Come to my house. I want you to come over to my house. I have a, a, a beautiful red couch. We got music playing. We got a TV with nothing on screen. We got our mom cooking some rotten food. Will you come over, please? Is he coming over? Is he? I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Travis, we love you. Go here. Wait for Travis. Travis is knocking on the door. We love you, Travis. Come on. Come on in. We're gonna have a nice party, or Travis? Travis, get in here. How do I... Open up the door. There we go. Travis just walks in. <laughs> hey, Travis, how's it going? Let's ask about woo... Uh, let's ask about woohoo right off the bat. Travis, you wanna woohoo with me? You wanna kiss me against my mouth? Come on, let's do it. Bonnie, express your admiration towards him. Tell him that you love him. That you have the biggest heart in the world. Your heart is made full of sunflowers. And the sunflower seeds. And when the seeds grew, grow, they plant sunflowers in your heart. That's how beautiful you are. That's how beautiful your heart is. And each petal of that sunflower is like a petal made with love from Granny's cooking show. Travis! Travis, get your ass back here. We're gonna eat some hamburgers filled with black hamburgers. Oh, Chica, your face is like everywhere. God damn it, you're so happy. I love you. I love you, Chica. Are, are you wearing red boots? Where did you get those red boots from? Oh my god, you're wearing your panties inside, I see. Red boots, yo, you're turning out to be a stripper just like your prophecy has t foretold. <laughs> Who the hell is that guy? Who are you? Holy crap, you look badass. Look at you. You're a gangster, aren't you? You're a gangster in these parks. How did you get here? Where's Travis? Make sure he doesn't leave. Travis, get over here. Oh god, Chica, you just turned on the TV. What are you watching? Oh god damn it, you're watching Five Nights at Freddy's. Travis doesn't like Five Nights at Freddy's, don't you know that? It's only Foxy, oh, it's only the animatronics that love to watch Five Nights at Freddy's on television, so it's a marionette, it's Hot Dog, Hot Dog, you guys remember that from last episode, the Hot Dog was here, Bonnie, get back inside, get your ass back inside and talk to Travis, stop talking with your mother, stop playing, what is this, stop talking to your stupid friends, stop eating food, you're gonna get fat, go ahead, um, you're supposed to be, like, having woohoo with Travis Scott, He's a young adult and you're a teenager. You can do this. Where is she? Yes, climb up those stairs. Forget about washing those dishes. Just drop them on the floor. <laughs> Just drop them on the floor and get your ass back in here. Look, your papa's dancing. Why don't you dance with him? Come on, dance with me. Let me strut my butt for you. Oh, look at these boobies. Want to grind on me? I'm going to dance so you can see my boobies just jiggling up and down. Oh yes, that's how I will feel your boobies tonight. Look at those hand moves. This is what I'm gonna do to your boobies. Let's see what the rest of the crew is up to. Freddy's on computer. She is up here washing the toilet for the once. I've never seen that before. Freddy's over here. Where's she? 
Oh my god, guys! Chica is at the bottom of the Five Nights at Freddy's restaurant. Beat the pizzeria. She's here. Oh my god, Chica, what have you done yourself? You're down here? Oh my god, you've seen everything. You've seen it all. Oh my god, now you know what this means, guys. <laughs> now you're going upstairs. You're gonna go upstairs to tell everyone that there's a the restaurant it is she's regained her memory guys she's she's rega regained her memory and she's gonna tell all the other animatronics about the where they came from and everything she's gonna regain everyone's memory and everyone in the house is now fully animatronic they're gonna be crazy now they're gonna go psycho they're gonna do this weird stuff look tell tell bonnie about everything tell bonnie about everything tell her discuss the interest you have to tell Bonnie about the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza that's right beneath you all this time and what had has happened to you. And she's gonna regain her memory. Bonnie has regained her memory. Where the hell is the other guy? Where's Travis? Where's Travis? Where's Travis? Where is he? Has he disappeared? Oh my god, where's Travis? I don't see him. God damn it, I think he left. I think Travis has left, but Bonnie is he they they all know what everything Chica you gotta tell Chica you gotta tell uh your mother Go tell tell mother while you're dancing with her Dance with her and tell her everything about the pizzeria that's right beneath you guys So you know how I said like they're the animatronics are gonna be all crazy now Cuz cuz they've seen everything now that means that they're gonna do some weird stuff so what what's gonna happen is Bonnie she knows everything and she's gonna call Travis again she's gonna call Travis and like they're gonna torture Travis in here once everyone knows oh my god it's a little girl oh <gasps> this is perfect <laughs> invite in invite her invite her in invite her in go ahead Bonnie we're crazy we're psychopaths now you're psycho animatronics invite her this poor little innocent girl inside your house we don't even know who she is too many dishes whatever leave him unwashed and get this poor little girl inside come on who is she who is this person Courtney Spencer oh my god this is perfect who are you this is perfect timing they know about the Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria yeah get inside ask her if you can dance uh dance together Come on, come inside. Welcome to our haunted house. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza is right below us. Come on. First, what we'll do is we'll, we'll be all nice to her. <laughs> like, oh, we're all ha we're happy animatronics. We're we're your friends and everything, right? Oh, look at it. she's so happy. <laughs> she's so happy. She doesn't know what's gonna happen to her now. And Bonnie is up there. Where's uh? Where's uh? Uh, purple Bonnie. She's all. She knows everything now that the animatronics are down there. Foxy is the only one who still needs some clarification. So we'll get Chica to tell Foxy that uh, the anim the the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza is right below them. Uh, Chica, go talk to him. Oh, yes, yes. Blah blah blah. He's telling, and Foxy's like, "Oh my God! I can't believe I've regained my memory." And they're all being nice to her now. And you know what we're gonna do? <laughs> we're gonna... Okay. What we're gonna do to her? We're gonna like torture this poor little girl. Because <laughs> cause, cause these guys are psychopaths. They're the, the animatronics have regained everything. And they're they're completely crazy now. And Freddy here. Freddy, uh, I mean Foxy knows everything. Oh my god, who is this? Oh, it's Travis. In invite, invite him in. Invite him in. Invite Travis in. God damn it! Invite him in. No, no, friendly introduction. Go to him, quick! He's leaving. No, no, come back, come back, Travis, Travis, Travis! No, no, Travis! Oh, you have been. No, why did you have to leave? Don't worry, you'll come back one day. Oh my God, he's standing there. He's standing there. What is he doing? Is he gonna? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> oh my god, he's going Foxy! Foxy is hopping by to get Travis back into the house because he's he's gonna do some crazy things with Travis. Travis, you wanna come in? Who are you? Oh, I remember you. You're the red animatronic. You look like a fox. Oh. 
Yeah, why don't you come inside? We'll play baseball inside my house. You want to do that? Come inside. Uh, can we ask him to come inside? I think we got to go back into the house and tell him to come here. Tell him to it. Let's dance to get, dance with Travis. Let's get two people in here. Come on, Travis, get in here. Travis, come. Oh, he's coming. <laughs> Travis, Travis, he's jumping, hopping by. He's coming inside. Travis, oh no, this is your fate. This is the end of your fate, Travis. You're gonna, you're never gonna leave this house ever again. Oh, the doors are gonna be shut once they shut. Oh. <laughs> Travis, you're locked in. You're locked in with two people, two strangers. We don't know what's gonna happen to them. Dance together with her. Oh my god, make her happy. Everything. Okay, I think this is gonna be the uh, end of this episode. In the next episode, what's gonna happen is we're gonna totally torture these two people. Who knows what's gonna happen? We're gonna, because everyone, all the animatronics know now that there's the, they've regained their memory for, um, Freddy Fazbear's restaurant, Pizzeria, is underneath in the basement, and they, they, they've they become, uh, all the animatronics have become psychopaths, and they're gonna do some crazy things with, with random strangers. So far, we have our first bait, which is Travis, and this poor little soul who we don't even know why she came here in the first place, Courtney Spencer. You, they're both gonna die. Okay, I'll see you in the next episode, where crazy things will happen. See ya then.